Okay, some of you have run into this where you get your Netflix going and then you get spam for some reason and you, you get this kind of crap. And although there is a special place in hell for these people to put this in, we can do something about it right now. Alright, now, one of the things you need to look at is go up here and you'll see that this is a long address equals to and then you've got all this going on. So what happened is basically someone's kind of, you've been contaminated by an extension, they've hijacked your your address, and every time you bring up your rear address, it's going to go there, and so you touch on it, it doesn't work right. You need to stop this anyways, because it's transmitting information you don't want going through there. Um, not a problem. Easy, easy fix. You just type in Netflix into here, www.netflix.com, it should go immediately to your, your browser, and then you'll be able to um, just go and look. Now, here's the problem that we're looking at again, is people are seeing this kind of stuff. So, because I went to that other browser, and I had to click, it probably reinfected. And the question was, how do we get to the extensions? Well, on Internet Explorer, you go to Manage Add-ons. And when you go to Manage Add-ons, you look here, and, and you start going through, and you check, and you look for stuff that may or may not be um, something you want. So, you know, I've got like Translate and Bing and all this. Um, when you find something that isn't working for you or you're not sure it is, if you look at the name, you're like, I don't know what that is. Well, then all you have to do is just uh, type in the Google Bing or Unix, and you should find out the link browser is actually okay, it's official, etc., etc. Also, Publisher. You want to make sure you know it's Publisher. Stuff like Conduit and all that, you want to get rid of those. So, um, that takes care of that for Internet Explorer. All right. Now, if you're using a different browser, let's say you're using you're using uh, Chrome. So you go to Chrome. Yes, I know it's ironic. I've got Bing here. So I go ahead and I go to this little stack over here. And I pull this down, and under Tools, Extensions, and it comes up just like this. And so if I didn't want one of these, I could enable and disable it. If you're not sure about an extension and you have the ability to disable it, try that. But that doesn't always work. Some of these guys come back. They're like zombies. All right. Now, and... Let's go ahead and look at... Firefox. Um, it's already up, so that was unfair. But if it wasn't up, let's say it was here, you pull down this corner and you go to add-ons and then you have the ability to get extensions, look at your plugins sometimes nasty stuff can be high in plugins but usually extensions and then if I saw something I didn't like I could just disable it and I can re-enable it if I want to and down here, like better surf this is a horrible, horrible problem disable this guy um, I wasn't sure about Faster Fox, so I just got rid of it because I was trying to think. White Smoke, another one of these evil people. And so what I've done is I disabled it because I wasn't sure if it was um, causing me problems or not. Turns out it was. So I hope that helps everyone.